Hello and welcome to today's new tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to get rid of all these unused bones. Uh, this will be the model. Also I'm going to show you the quickest way to get rid of all the bones without using Blender. Uh, this is the model we're going to use. It's one of my Senpai Zerves models. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use the new features of XPS and we're going to uh, get all these bones just for the hair and probably head neck upper if you want to do the merge or export as a new mesh which I think I'm gonna make a video on that next I might I haven't really played around with the new uh, abilities oh crap I didn't put a Z I didn't put a period about, about four okay now what we want to do is uh, just like save only visible mesh is we're going to get rid of everything but the hair. So you're pretty much just going to go through here and get all the hair. Everything else don't matter. And now that we got all the hair, we're just going to hit OK and then hit No. Now all the tears hair, now we're going to save. We're going to modify, save visual, mark bones as unused. That's all bones. Convert to PMG. I always do this because I tell people that this makes the models PMG, which is a smaller file and that much space. Mark bones is unused as this will get rid of all the bones that are not consistent to the, the, the tree line of the head, neck, upper or WTG bone for the face root. Okay, we're now going to save this into a new folder because we got to clean the armatures next. So we're just going to create a, a photo real quick. We're just going to call it hair. And then we're just going to go in here and we're just going to put test one. Save it. And Zerf model will not. She must. Let me try our other one. Sometimes his models will do that. Sometimes uh, the textures in them are not are not in there. This is gonna be a fun little video to do, isn't it? Okay, let's do this again. No. We'll just put in new folder. Okay, it went through at that time. Okay. Now, uh, when we load uh, this model, you'll see that all the bones are here except the dummy head, which that, that don't really matter. You can name that unused. What that is is that's what controls it. We can make that unused too, or you can just rename that head mood root or whatever. See, we can just hit Control H and hide it. Now it's gone. Now what we want to do is we're going to go to clean armatures. This is going to get rid of all unused bones and any bones that have no weight. And we're going to name this clean. Clean hair. Test one. And it's going to get rid of 238 bones. Number of bones remain 21. So that means that all these bad bones are now gone, so you can get out of here. We can go to load again. And now this hair you can add to a model using the XP add to function or whatever. It's now set up. These are the only bones that are here. You can go into the Axie and you can see that uh, it is only 21 bones. You can do this with pretty much any model. I'll show you another one. I'll show you one of Campson's if I've got any. I uh, just got to think and find where I put them. Uh, I might have to download one of Campson's model. I don't think I got any others.
not on my hard drive. Uh, sorry about this. I should be able to go here to Campson's. No, I didn't use any of Campson's model for for Yuko. Oh, Mesa Soggy, yeah. Cami X, which always has good models. Same with Zerf. Zerf always has good models. Like, uh, let's say Momiji here. See this hair? Like, let's say you wanted this hair for your for a model, custom model, like an OC model or your own model. You would just go to download and, like I said, load it, and you would hide everything but the hair. See, this function actually used to be, but there was no way to get rid of the unused bones. You'd have to do it in Blender, and if you don't know what you're doing in Blender, you can really make a, uh, a model jelly. Come on. Okay. What? Are you kidding me? This is my. I'm about to say. Oh, I probably just messed up. Okay, that's DOA 5 Greek Warrior Kasumi. A5 Greek Semi. It does that whenever you do the clean armatures thing, so don't think nothing of it. It's not bad. Okay. Here's Greek Armor Semi. I mean, Momiji. All you, we want is just the hair, so we'll just go and we'll find the hair, which is right there. Now we'll just hit no. Now we'll go to save, modify, visible, mark unused bones, and convert to PMG. You can do this with outfits too. I'll show you uh, that next. EG hair one. Okay. Shouldn't take too long. Just take it out, bring it back in, load, modify, clean armatures again. That will get rid of everything. And just put it in the same folder again. And bam. It got rid of 324 bones and now you got 30. Just the hair bones and probably the un the head uh, neck upper. So pretty much you just did probably about 20 minutes of getting rid of them bones and blender yourself that you could just do in a few seconds using the new uh, XPS uh, features. And there's uh, Momiji's hair, her Greek hair from uh, Campson's model, which I gotta write that down in the description of this video. Okay. Uh, I think I got some... I'm looking for Zerv's model because I think it's in Tiffa's folder. Yeah, it's in Tiffa's folder. The schoolgirl outfit for that, for Yuko. Uh, yeah, here it is. Which what we're gonna do is we're just going to uh, grab the skirt and the, and the top. We're just gonna grab the skirt and then we're just going to. Uh, Right there, that should be enough. No, let's really get a challenge. Let's do our long hair. Because so I can show you how many bones this can really take away. Which you're about to be amazed. Long hair models are always got more bones than any. You've got about 
200, maybe 300 hair bones with, with uh, long open hair models. And we're just going to get her long hair. I was going to get the skirt, but I was just saying, let's just do her long hair and show you how easy this is. These are usually the models that usually drive me nuts when you're trying to get these hairs. Okay, we got all the hair bones. And we got all these. We don't need all these. So this would be about an hour, maybe an hour in Blender to, to, to do this, to try to get all these damn bones. But watch. Mark unused. Go to Mishmon. Data. Hair again. it should be seven maps okay there we go you can see all the bones now modify again clean armatures Four hundred and thirty seven bones only a hundred and eighty one are left from uh, that's just her long hair and the head dummy, that would be your uh, your your move. That would be the one you would name the head neck upper. Because that's the one that controls the model itself. So uh, what you would do is you would go in here and you would name this uh, head neck upper. Because this is pretty much what, uh, that that's the tree bone that's connect all these bones to. And save it. And you you've done like this right here. You can now just add these to Blender or just bring in a model and use uh, the merge thing which I've not used yet which is right there. I've not given it a try but this is a quick way to get rid of all your bones without having to use Blender. For people that just want to use XPS to just you do the add to. I hope this little video was insightful and maybe can uh, help anyone that wants to just do this instead of doesn't like to use blender because blender can be complicated if you don't understand it uh, once again this is uh, SSPD 077 I hope you enjoyed the video comment below and let me know if there's any questions or more tutorials you guys would like me to make as I pretty much will be making more now that I got a better mic as you can see I hope y'all have a, a good day, better tomorrow. Bye, guys.